It's your boy, Rocket4560, today bringing you another part of Disney Epic Mickey. Last time, we went and saw Oswald on Mickey Junk Mountain and came back and returned um, Gilda's Axe. And we did the um, birthday cake quest for um, Clarabelle. Now, this time, we're going into a new land, which is Tomorrow City, which is the next um, world and Disney Epic Mickey. So if you're enjoying this Let's Play, please smash that like button, new channel, please subscribe, and I hope you enjoy this video. So yeah, um, sorry about, um, not doing a, um, part yesterday. Um, like, I'm really, to be honest with you, I'm really, um, Oh, that's how you do it. Okay. Alright. But anyway, yes, I'm actually really trying to, um... Be, um... Constant with this, um... Let's Play. But you know what? We can, um, have a little, like, two-day break in between, um... Videos. So yeah, but yeah, this is, um, honestly, this is my favorite world in, um, Disney Epic Mickey, because of, I like, I was always a big fan of space and stuff, and Tomorrowland City is just all about space. The Nautilus sank here long ago, I will take, it will take us to Tomorrow City if we raise it. In fact, last time I saw Amatron Goofy, he was heading here to try just that. These cranes were eradicated to pull the submarine to the surface. But then the thunder disaster happened and the effort was abandoned. Oh huh, man. Like, honestly, I hear something nearby. Uh, but to be honest with you, like, they're, like, all about, like, um, thinner disaster this and thinner disaster that, like, alright, be good, be my friend, please, no, there you go, thank you, alright, but yeah, they're, like, all about the whole thinner disaster, um, crap. Um, the thinner disaster thing. Alright, so I'm gonna try not to, uh, ah, crap. I'm gonna try not to say um as many times I did in the last part. Because, um, me and my friend were watching, um, ah, crap, I just said it again. We were watching my, this, the last video crap and we were like dang I say um a lot and I was like yeah um sorry about that but I am gonna try seriously thinking about trying not to say um a lot so that is like my goal for this part is to not say um a lot Welcome, Mickey. Those platforms have extended. Okay, so we are trying to save, um, crap. I'm really trying not to say, um, guys. I'm being dead serious. We are trying to save this gremlin that is trapped in one of the cages or whatever. And one of the buildings. Look, those pillars have risen. Looks like we can get to the top of that temple, Mickey. And also, this will be able to help us with the Goofy quest. With, um, which we did. Crap. 
which we did um in Oz Town. So yeah. Okay. Send this out. Oh, let's free this guy. Thank you for saving me. I was sure Goofy's not a more whatchamacallit raising machine. Quest completed. Raise the Nautilus. They're working the Nautilus and rising. Okay. So we are not going to go on the Nautilus just yet. Because we have to get animatronic Goofy's um, part. So, yeah, we're not going to go on the Nautilus just... Are you kidding me? Please don't die. I'm really trying not to die as many times as I did in the last part. So, please, thank you for the hearts. Alright, so yeah, we're gonna, um, do that right away. Okay. See, so, yeah, I've noticed my, like, the last two parts of this Let's Play have been a little bit longer than usual of the other Let's Plays. So, I mean, if you guys like that, that will be, um, I'm cool with doing longer parts if you guys, if you guys were cool with that, so I'm not going to really change it. Okay. Crap, are you kidding me? We were literally just about to get the part. Okay. Alright, let's try this again. Okay. Oh. Alright. Goofy's leg. Give his right leg to be more exact. This is animatron Goofy's leg. Okay. All right. Now that we completed that, we are gonna go ahead and go into the Nautilus because honestly, that's really all I want to do is. To get all the goofy parts for the for animatron goofy. So yeah. Anyway, so yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this let's play as much as I am doing it because I. Well, I, I've been honestly really loving this Let's Play because, I don't know, it's just, it's just been really fun and awesome, so, okay, gotta get on this head because we gotta get to the upper part, crap, we gotta get, really? You gotta get to the upper part. Come on. You gotta get to the upper part. There we go. To get the film reel. So yeah. But yeah, if you guys um are like more longer parts, I will certainly keep on doing the longer parts for you guys are you kidding me at least we're not dying as many times as we were in the last part Come on. crap I just got killed 
I'm so sorry, guys. I, like I said, like, honestly, the things that have been getting me recently with the deaths is the projectors. Okay, yeah. Like, um, in the Oswald projectors, I was, like, dying, like, all the time. And that was really frustrating. Like, I had to edit out, like, most of the projector scenes the last time because I would just kept on dying. Mm. So now we got closer to the part so we don't have to. Are you kidding me? I'm sorry guys, I'm really trying. Come on. There we go. Okay, for the third time. Honestly, I'm really thinking that after I finish this Let's Play, I'm gonna be doing like a Okay, what the heck? Heck. What the heck? Why is it not letting me go up there? Maybe if I... One more time, one more time. I know! It's gonna... Oh, it did. Oh no, it was up here that it was not letting me go. Okay, come on. You got this, Mickey. You got this. Yes. Success. Success. Yes. Okay. Now we can just hop over them and go into the projector. Alright. So yeah, th there was a couple little fails, but basically what I was saying was We're surfacing, Mickey. This is the gateway into Tomorrow City proper. That was some epic music right there. These steam pipes and valves will open the way for us. You will have to find all of them. Okay, I see. Yeah, basically what? Crap, dude. Really? Spinners are tough form of beetleworks that painted shells like armor. You can melt their defenses with thinner, but to damage them, you'll have to get close and use your spin move after they flip over. Unlike botlings, beetleworks can't be turned friendly with paint. They're programmed to not like you. Oh, I, I hate these guys, honestly. Go away. Okay, come on. Like, these are the ones that I hate with a passion. I don't... I don't, um... What is it? I mean, the other ones I don't like as. What the heck? I just actually pressed the, um. Two button, which is basically the menu button. Yeah, I don't like the others one. I don't dislike the others ones as much as I dislike the spinner. Because the spinners, they're just so annoying, honestly. They're just really annoying. Watch out, Mickey! Dang. Anyway. 
But don't worry guys, in this part we don't have to look for goof parts crap because come on you my friend thank you but yeah don't worry guys this um part of the oh crap how am I supposed to get yee oh man this part of the Tomorrowland City world, we do not have to go looking for where is the gear? Oh, there it is. All right, Mickey, one final gear to go. But yeah, we don't have to look for parts in this. Is it over here? Oh uh, no. Go away. Go away! You boy. What the heck? Come on. Come at me, bro. Really? Come at me, bro. Come at me! Really? You gotta be kidding me, come on. There. Gosh, I don't know why Mickey was like flying back like that. Alright, now since we did that, we can continue on. This wonderful world. So when, since we fixed the steam pipes, uh, yeah. Oh, jeez, I knew that wasn't gonna end well. Oh man, I was kind of hoping they were gonna give us more hearts, but you know that's fine. Alright. More e tickets. Cartoons have always enjoyed seeing the great big tomorrow exhibit. Mr. Rover has been working on cleaning it up for a while now. I'm really excited to see it again. It's been such a long time. Yeah, well, I think he's pretty surprised. Welcome to the great big tomorrow you can oh no a slobber When you meet one of these it means the bot really wants to stop you That thing will hurt heave a barrage of thinner before trying to inhale you literally And if you get too close his thinner claws do serious damage He's vulnerable when he's trying to hail you. When he starts out, let him have it with paint or thinner. Alright, so basically, these guys it are really just, let's go. Come on. They're really just a mini boss. To be honest with you, I like I've gone through this game so many times that I'm really crap. I just had a little mucus um got down in my throat, but I'm really hesitant just to do a guardian, like throw a guardian at him. But to be honest, I want you guys to like see how they work. Oh man. Which basically, like Gus said, you just have to wait until he inhales you, and then you can start basically painting, or thinning, or whatever you want to do. Come on. 
Yeah, they're basically a mini boss. Dang, alright. Um Yeah, they're not too hard if you really know what you're doing. Almost. Almost guys, we are so close to beating this guy. And turning him good. Boom. Thanks, man. Oh no, look! The carousel is reactivated. Quest completed. Defeat the slobber. Quest add. Talk to Mr. Rover. Behold, the glory of what Wasteland can be. Great. Being such as you generously applied paint to rebuild and restore and never improve, improve. Benevolence such as yours re reshapes the land to a better place. Thank you for taking care of that slobber. I sealed the great big tomorrow when I heard of the impending attack. With the slobber taken care of, I used my last bit of energy to reactivate the carousel. This television will be useful to you, I pro promise. Enjoy. You find a TV sketch. When you use it, this creates a temporary TV. You ever turn TV, next thing you know, everyone's watching. You can only drop one TV at a time, and they don't last long. Scroll through your sketches with the plus button. Activate the sketch with the minus button. But use them with care. Each sketch works just once. TVs also provide a source of power in places like this. Try dropping one on the power pad here to activate the great big tomorrow. As with any sketch, press the B button. If you decide not to use it, that will pull it away. But before we do that, you want to open this chest which is gonna um have Goofy's torso and basically this looks like an entry of Goofy's torso um basically the only way you can get Goofy's torso is if you paint the slobber not thin him so yeah if I remember right minus right yeah. Now that's this place is powered up. Let's see if Mr. Rover can give this thing moving. Are you ready to go to tomorrow square? Away we go. And that right there is um if we would have thinned the blot and as not the blot, the slobber. And as you can see, you don't get the animatronic part, so, yeah. So you kind of have to paint the slobber. Alright. Now we're full of health and full of paint. And once we get to tomorrow square, I'm going to end the video off, so yeah. So this video doesn't go too long. Alright, that thing would nicely lower for us. Really? Come on. Yep, that's how you get that film reel. And honestly, once I get the film reel, I just like blaze through the 2D platform section. Alright, come on. Please! Oh, jeez. Honestly, I'm not gonna worry about that, because. 
since we already got the film reel. Uh, I honestly don't want to worry about that. Okay. Alright. Mickey, welcome to Tomorrow Square. Here you'll have to power up the People Mover. It will allow you to access Space Voyage. The rocket ride is broken too. See what you can do to repair it. I'm sure there's someone around here who can assist you. Good luck. Alright, so we will be doing all that stuff in the next episode. So if you're enjoying this Let's Play, please smash that like button. New channel, please subscribe. And I keep on forgetting to tell you guys this, but press the no press the bell button because if you guys want to get notified you're gonna have to press that bell button so thanks so much for watching peace rocket four five six